I'm going to show you how to get started with the Esprino microcontroller that you see here on Windows. So first step is you take the board and plug it in via micro USB. Um, you'll find that in the bottom right it will say installing device driver. Uh, you can click on that and see how it's doing. Now on Windows XP and Windows 8.1 you may need to install a driver and just go to the quick start that's here and you'll see links for where to download it. So um, this will happen. Um, eventually it will come up and it will tell you which COM port number it's got. Um, for instance COM28 here. If you don't see any of that you can always go to control panel and devices and printers and you'll see that down the bottom it says uh, SD Microelectronics Virtual COM port and again that number COM28. So um, the next step is we need to open Chrome and we'll go to apps and the web store and just type in Esprino and you install this app. Now it does ask to use a camera but that's only because it's got a fancy mode where it can overlay a presentation on top of the view from a webcam. Um, it's, you know, it's not going to spy on you or anything. So to run it, um, you can, if you start a new tab and go to apps, you can run it directly from here or you can right click and you can add it to your desktop. But we'll just add it from here. So when you start up, it asks you whether you'd like to take a tour. You can just click up here and click on tour and it'll run you through step by step uh, what you need to do. But I'll show you here. So if you click in the top left, um, you can select the communication support that Esprit knows on. Now you may have more than one, so you needed to remember which, which number you had. Um, but now it's connected to Esprino and you can um, you can write commands like one plus two and it'll be executed on the board itself. For instance, you can um, set LED one dot set or something like that, and that will now light the red LED up. Before you get carried away with it though, um, we'd really advise that you update the firmware because the firmware that ships on the boards is now very old and we're adding new features almost every day. So um, this warning icon up the top right will tell you if you're using a version of Esprino that's a little bit out of date. You can click on that and um, you go to the flasher which is in the settings menu. Now all you have to do to update the firmware is just click flash firmware and follow the instructions. So um, you hold down button 1, press and release reset um, and then the LED on the board will start glowing. Uh, the blue LED. So then just click next, choose the COM port again and it'll start updating the firmware. Now all the LEDs will start flashing on your board while it's happening. Um, it's a pretty safe process. If it doesn't work out um, you can just do it again and there, there won't be any problems at all. Um, but if you're having big problems with it um, have a look at the troubleshooting page on the Esprino website. Um, the, the majority of problems people have are actually just through broken USB cables. So um, this is all done. Just click the reset button and um, finish the flasher and you can start connecting again and start using it. Um, quick one through of how you use this. So you can type commands on the left and there's a little tutorial that actually runs you through uh, step by step commands you can type. Um, or you can write code on the right hand side. Um, there's a uh, an editor that actually you know, gives you hints if you're typing things in wrong. Um, when you've written the code you want, just press this button and it'll be sent over to Esprino. Um, for instance, this will make the LED light. And you can change a number and the LED will now be flashing faster. Um, you can also click this button here, which goes to the graphical editor, um, which is you know more child friendly. You can you can easily change things, or you can you can get new items from um, from the the library of, of stuff here. Um, and again, just click this button to send it to the board, and it'll immediately take effect. And when you've got something that you like, just type save, and this will save everything to the board. Next time you apply power, um, the board will start up as it was before. So you can you can then just unplug it from the PC, connect the battery, and um, use it straight away. Right, thanks for watching.